Hey. Hey! As I was dozing off, I start to wake to a calling voice. Who is this? Who dis? Er, what is it? Be quiet. Wake up. Huh? Meow? I jump and jump up and look around in awe. I am up here. The voice calls from above. I look up and see the black cat on a tree branch above my head. Why are you sleeping here? It's none of your business where I sleep. I turn away and curl up again. I'm feeling kind of down tonight. Since the day I met the black cat and got cursed, I occasionally feel like I'm not who I used to be. It stirs up my feelings and I don't like it. What happened? There's that guy who always takes care of you. Go to his place. Why are you saying this to me? Are you worried about me? Oh, why would I be worried about you? I tilt my head, puzzled at the black cat's perplexed reaction. Anyhow, you'll catch a cold if you sleep outside. Are you still gonna sleep here? He sounds blunt, but kind at the same time. And that warms my heart a little. Well, he is worried about me. I gaze at the black cat and decide to try to talk to him once more. I also have not- I've actually never seen the cat- black cat's body, so let me remove the text box. He- he's actually a, a pretty big boy when I think about it. He was thick. He was thick cat. Hey, about that curse on me. I told you, if you want to undo it, kiss someone you like. I- I get that, but I don't understand why you cursed me. The black cat fell silent at my words. It's a curse, so you must have a grudge against me, right? Did I do something to make you hold a grudge? <laughs> Not you. What? The reply came back from the black cat was so small, I could barely hear it. If I didn't, who did? Anyways. If you want to get rid of that curse so much, I recommend you find someone you like and just kiss them. And don't sleep in such a place. Huh? Uh, wait! The black cat wiggled, hopped off the branch, and disappeared into the darkness. No, wait! I wish you the best of luck. I start to run towards the voice. Hey, I really want to return to being a human again. It can't be an unrequited love, right? The black cat doesn't answer. I desperately run after him, following the sounds he is making. I could see the black cat's tail and, and the body in the dark, twinkling in the moonlight. I don't even know where I'm running. I'm just desperate to follow. But I could somehow tell that the black cat wouldn't answer me anymore. <sighs> It was impossible for me to catch up to that strange cat. I had lost him completely. Where am I? I stepped out of the grass and stand on the large rock to see a Japanese style garden. Mr. Saijo's garden? I came here again. Whenever I run after the black cat, I always lose sight of him around here. I stand in awe in the moonlit garden for a while. See you later, Takuma! As usual, Takuma went for delivery on a small bike. <laughs> where, where did your motorbike go? <laughs> did, did you lose that? He told me he had to make two trips for the order we had gotten for the grand opening of a Japanese-style cafe close by. I'm excited since the Japanese-style cafe is uncommon here. I want to go with Mr. Saijo if I can. My thoughts shift to Mr. Saijo again. Last night, after finding myself in Mr. Saijo's garden, I sat there until Mr. Saijo came looking for me. When Mr. Saijo found me like that, he silently picked me up and took me inside. He just quietly stroked me for a while. Oh, oh god, phone. <laughs> That's scary. I daze off, remembering what had happened last night when the shop's phone started ringing. Hello, this is Flower Shop Flora. 
Yes, an order for an arrangement, correct? I open the notebook for reservations and write down the customer's order. Alright, an arranged basket for 500 yen. Yes, mainly using pink roses. The customer wants a cute kind of arrangement, so I eye the flowers in the storefront with several designs in mind. Yep, they'll probably turn out pretty gorgeous. Alright, you'll come to pick up around 2 o'clock... 2 o'clock noon? <laughs> on Wednesday. We can make alterations on that day as well if you prefer. Yes, we'll be waiting for you. I randomly flipped through some pages in the reservation book and I noticed something. Mr. Saijo's name isn't here. I flipped through more pages of past reservations but Mr. Saijo's name is nowhere to be found. We sometimes don't write down on the day reservations. But besides that, it's required to write down the orders in this notebook, so... Even if the person who took the order isn't there, someone can do the job. We also do occasional, occasionally write down on-the-day reservations just in case. Especially Takuma. It can't be that I've taken all, all of his on-the-day reservations until now, right? It's just unnatural. The uneasy anxiety from yesterday has returned. I start looking from the very first page of the notebook. His name is still not there. In fact, I can't remember when Mr. Saijo became our customer, no matter how hard I try. I thought he had, hadn't come yet when I started working, but I wonder if Takuma knew him in that, at that point. But that house has been there all this time, right? The harder I try to remember, the cloudier my memory becomes. There's no actual proof that Mr. Saijo exists. He's vague in people's memories and there's nothing written about him. His name isn't even on the map. Mr. Saijo, what are you? Will his name come up if I look it up on the internet? But when I imagine finding nothing, I'm scared. I wouldn't know what to believe. If I go to the garden again, would the same Mr. Saijo who had been stroking me last night be there? I want to go see him right now. If I talk to him in person, this feeling should go away. <laughs> I'm back. Takuma parks his bike in front of the store and walks in. Ah, welcome back. What's wrong? You don't look so well. N nothing. Oh yes, sir. We've got an arrangement order for Wednesday just now. The request was for a cute and gorgeous arrangement with pink roses. Can I make it, sir? Of course, I'm counting on you. Yes, I'll do my best. I answer cheerfully, but the anxiety from before comes back when I see Takuma's gentle smile. Um, Takuma? I opened my mouth to ask about Mr. Saijo, but I was scared he wouldn't remember again. And I hesitate timidly. N no nothing please tell me how the cafe looks sometime yeah I will well then off I go again Takuma leaves with the flowers and foliage plants he had prepared and I restart my task routinely in the silent shop can I just talk to Mr. Saijo when he comes and go see him when I'm a cat just as I've just as I'd always been doing I asked myself in my mind change is scary but but I also feel like I wouldn't be able to get closer to Mr. Saijo like this. It was when I was thinking in circles like that. Oh, hey. I haven't seen you in a while, Kyosuke Kawahara. Hello. Flashy figure entered with a cheerful voice, disrupting my thoughts in a good way. Ah, uh, Mr. Kawahara, welcome. Oh, are you alone? Takuma went to do some deliveries. Oh, I wanted to order a bouquet again. Can you do that? Yes, of course. Ah, <laughs> then please. Who are you giving it to? Huh? Why? I just thought their taste in roses might change according to their age or hobby. Huh, you know, you kind of grew up. Well, I would. She's a nice lady in her 40s. She's elegant and kind of dreamy too. Oh, <laughs> good Kyosuke. Going out to the, the, them older ladies. Elegant and dreamy. 
I choose the antique pink rose as the main flower and start to make the bouquet. Isn't this color kind of plain? It's when you look at it alone, but it's pretty when you arrange it with similar colors. I think elegant women would like it. Oh. Uh, Mr. Kawahara? Can I ask you something too? Oh, what? If I say, let's see each other each other when I'm off and that person doesn't contact me on my next day off... What do you think that means? Huh? That just means he doesn't want to see you. I knew it. Well, I don't- I do think that's not always the case. What do you mean? You should ask them in person. I'm asking you because I can't ask him in person. He may have just been busy or might just be testing you. Testing? You're good. I would have never thought of that. If, I've, if I had seen many people and had been testing others like Mr. Kawahara, would I be able to understand what Mr. Saijo is thinking or wanting? It seems like it's a nice cafe. They said they'll see what happens, but for now they're not going to be open during nights. Takuma told me about the cafe after he turned from his delivery. Japanese style beverages like ho hojicha latte and black syrup kinato latte. And with green tea parfaits and plated foods on the lunch menu. It's kind of, it's kind of cafe girls like. You're off tomorrow, so why don't you go? Hmm, yes. Mr. Saijo would know when to come would know when the shop is closed, so he doesn't contact me today. Do I have to fret until next week again? I thought I'd like to go with Mr. Saijo, but I don't think he'll contact me. It might be time to get things straight between us. You're right. I hope I can go. Alright, taking a sip. Takuma made a slight puzzled face at my words, but it still made me smile. Or still made a smile. I'm quietly listening to the smooth flow of the river. The moonlight is bright on the surface of the water. I was thinking about going straight to Mr. Saijo's, but... Mr. Saijo didn't contact me today, after all. Come to think of it, I didn't give him my number and... The number he has is of the shop. He didn't ask, so that must mean he had no intention of contacting me. He's not even testing me. I wonder if I can't do anything anymore. After a while, I hear footsteps. I turn around at the sound and see Mr. Saijo walking. Mm, there you are. Mr. Saijo looks more expressionless than usual today. I'm not really fond of him under the moonlight. He's too beautiful. Mr. Saijo sits beside me. I like taking walks, but I don't know if I'm taking a walk or I'm just looking for you these days. Mr. Saijo? You're not anyone's cat, so there's no guarantee you'll come back to me. So it might be odd for me to wait around. Mr. Saijo is ga gazing at the distance. It's like he's talking to someone far away instead of to me. Does that mean he's been looking for me yesterday and today? It wasn't supposed to be like this. Mr. Saijo looks down at me. I had been gazing at Mr. Saijo, so our eyes met firmly. I thought you'd want to eat something by now, so I made you cat food. That made my stomach growl. Even if I prepare you, prepare you with a comfortable living space, you still leave without any words. That's not true. Does Mr. Saijo think I don't come back because I don't want to? No. Uh, <laughs> Urge him, he's wrong! Meow, meow, meow. No! I want to be with you, Mr. Saijo. I want to be closer. I can't do that as a cat, so... It's frustrating. Being here in this form doesn't, doesn't tell Mr. Saijo anything. I put my paws on Mr. Saijo's arm. What's wrong? Meow. I want I want Mr. Saijo to know 
least I don't hate him. I meow fawningly and climb on Mr. Sigil's lap. Are you hungry? Do you want your food after all? No. Perhaps it's impossible to communicate this way. I repeatedly meow and grasp onto Mr. Sigil's arm. Okay, okay. Mr. Sigil lifts me up to his face. Our faces are suddenly so close and my heart jumps. I think I want to believe. Mr. Sigil? Mr. Sigil's deep colored eyes waver in front of me. Inside of me starts to heat up as I stare. Mr. Saijo, I really... Mr. Saijo smiles affectionately and hugs me to his chest. No, oh. <laughs> Just in the city, the city, city lights. Maybe this feeling is called love. Mr. Saijo mumbles quietly, stands up with me in his arms and starts walking towards his house. Mr. Saijo, what is that? Mr. Saijo stops talking. His gentle fingertips continue to play with my fur and tail, but he remains silent. If he doesn't talk to me as a cat, if he doesn't contact me, then I have to go to him directly. I'll come here as a human tomorrow, and I'll tell him my true feelings. I decided that, I decided that in my heart, and the next thing I noticed, I had fallen asleep on Mr. Saijo's arms.